Now, COP22 is about implementing the Paris Agreement, but the question of finance cannot be ignored. There are concerns about the $100 billion roadmap for developing countries to achieve the Paris aims as realistic. CCTV's Penina Karibe sat down with Aziz Mezua, COP22's multilateral negotiator. She began by asking him where the funds will be sourced from. So it's about finance. Where is the, where is the money coming from? So we have, of course, the 100 million uh, roadmap, which is uh, a source of money. But there, will be, but there is a lot more money that, has to be to, 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 that we have to bring into the, uh, this exercise. The, and I said it's trillions. Cristiano Figueres used to say that there are trillions of dollars, three, four trillions of dollars, that are invested uh, in negative rates. So all this money is waiting to find a place where to go. And uh, the question is how are we going to, to attract that money? What are African countries pushing for in this COP22? I think that the African countries would like to see uh, how what they have to do will be financed and uh, and, um, and of course when we talk finance we talk capacity building so I think that finance and capacity building will be uh, an important uh, outcome in America. Countries such as Nigeria for instance to prioritize reduction of CO2 when they've got much more pressing needs such as fighting Boko Haram creating employment for its population. You know uh, fighting climate change is, uh, is doing the right things it's not only I mean you can do, um, you can develop a country and an economy uh, in a climate friendly way. And it's not, it's not, I mean, we know we have the ways, we know today technology is, uh, is moving, uh, there is a lot that is happening. Uh, so one thing does not exclude the other. Every country has its own problems, but uh, it doesn't mean that they cannot this country cannot do things climate friendly.